Hey folks, Michael Kincaid here. Boom, check it out. Early birthday gift, wife got me the Blackstone four burner griddle. 32, 36 inches, I'm not sure, but I know it's big. So we're gonna whip up a little breakfast for dinner and test this thing out. So hopefully you'll stick around for the ride because I have no idea how this will turn out, but we are gonna attempt it. I have no idea how the cooking parameters work on this thing as far as the how hot it actually gets and all that good stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and throw a little sausage on here. But yeah, that's something I've been wanting for a long time, been uh, watching the videos on it, and pretty much cook anything you want on this thing, like breakfast like we're doing, do hibachi style, have our uh, Japanese night, one of these nights, There's a whole pack of bacon, center cut. It is center cut. All right, we're gonna try a little, uh, we got some Pepperidge Farm, whole wheat, cinnamon with raisins. Gonna try that as French toast. Really isn't thick enough, but we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens regardless. What's the worst that can happen? couple pieces are done here. I think it's looking pretty fantastic, if I do say so myself. That one is a little hard for early. That's cooking up nicely. Bacon's doing pretty good. So there you have her bacon. Got her French toast uh, cinnamon swirl bread. All right, we've got the raisin cinnamon toast, uh, French toast in there. We got the eggs, got the bacon. We got the sausage all cooked up. There's been a request for scrambled eggs. So I think we got enough bacon grease on there. That, that should look pretty good there. I need like somewhere to put my tools and stuff. <clears throat> but anyhow, first impressions, I am, I'm definitely digging this. I think it's going to be freaking awesome. But I had a tragic accident. My 20 pound tank ran out, but we grabbed the 30 pounder off the camper. Thank goodness I got it out there. So tonight, only a couple injuries. Went up touching this thing because that is extremely hot. If you're pouring the oil on there, don't do like that too fast because it did splatter a little bit. Thankfully, I have pants on and I wasn't frying bacon naked. But anyhow, so far the maiden voyage of the Blackstone four burner griddle has been a success. Minor injuries, <clears throat> but it's just rookie mistakes. And I'll get a comfort zone for figuring how uh, hot this thing gets and uh, things will get a little bit easier to cook on. But uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how well this thing will cook a steak. I think it'll get pretty darn warm. Cause I had on high heat over here earlier and it was blazing hot. Thanks again guys for checking out my videos. Really appreciate it. Getting close to a thousand subscribers, which is freaking awesome. Started this YouTube journey about actually in 2006, but just didn't really do much with it. I really started YouTube just to have a place to, I used it like the cloud. I would upload my videos just to have a place to where I could watch them anywhere, anytime. And then it just kind of grew from there. Then, uh, you know, you really start building the community, meeting a lot of cool people. So I really appreciate everybody that watches the video. Really appreciate the new subscribers, getting to meet everybody. I watched everybody's videos that I'm subscribed to. May miss some here and there, but, but yeah, I really do appreciate it. But if you've got any questions about the uh, Blackstone that I can answer, this is the first maiden voyage of it. Really uh, learning the whole, uh, learning the ropes of it myself. 
trying to get a comfort zone on it, but I think it's going to be awesome. Steaks, Japanese camp eye style cooking, breakfast like you just saw. I mean, the options are endless on this thing, but there's a ton of YouTube videos out there. Y'all have a blessed night. Appreciate y'all watching. We will catch y'all in the next video.